My name's Kyle Brown. I'm a Cherokee uh, guitarist for Doc Fellin Company. I got started playing music when I was 13 years old. And even before that, I mean, my entire childhood, we grew up in church and stuff. And um, that was a big part of, of, of really why I got started and how I got started. My dad played, my uncle played, and um, you know, growing up in church in, in that area, we uh, they did revivals and gospel sings at people's houses every weekend, and it was a good time. And, and it's something I took for granted as you know, growing up in a in a Cherokee community. We'd have get-togethers, and would you know, it's something that I lost along the way, and I didn't really, didn't really think about it being something special at the time. And so, um, looking back now, is a big influence on on what you know what I'm doing now and, and the music that we're creating now. My dad had always played played music and in, in different country bands and stuff. He tried to get me started early on. I wasn't really into it, and then I, I got into the Eagles. I got into a lot of the '70s country rock music from back then. And that really, I don't know, it was, it was kind of a, I don't know, you're, you're a teenager, you're, you're, you get all emotions and stuff going on. So I, I kind of got into writing more so then, and poetry, and it was kind of an outlet for me, I guess, as a teenager. You know, you're, you're trying to be rebellious, you're trying to do this, and you're, you're, you're wanting to have a voice, but you know, nobody wants to listen or whatever, so you start writing. And that's really what got me into it. And then that kind of, when I started playing guitar, kind of formed into this whole, writing songs, I guess. Um, I met Dr. John Phil about four years ago and we started playing together, um, doing acoustic shows and, and trying to build on what he had currently going on. Um, when we first started out, it was mainly uh, just he and I, and then maybe we'd just throw in different people. And that's where the co comes from. We just, we never knew who we were gonna be playing with. I ran into Kyle at, at work and found that he was a guitar player and convinced him to play a, um, a gig at the uh, hospital for an employee party. And we show, he showed up not knowing any of the songs, no practice or rehearsal, and we did an hour's worth of music that was all original that he had no idea what he was doing. And I, and I thought, man, he sounds so good, and he has no idea what he's doing. So At the time, it, it was going to be something he was going to give to his friends and family, and we, we didn't really know where it was headed. And as the process went on in the, in the early stages, we started adding drums and bass and still guitar and fiddle, and ended up being a huge production. And um, by the time we were through, I think we had 10 or 12 artists that were playing on the album with us. He brought a whole uh, lot of ideas and inspiration to the first album. Um, it was called Scissor Tell. We released it at the end of 2014 and did fairly well for us. It was a great initial CD and uh, Kyle got co-producing credits. And we produced it in Tahlequah as well at Monotone Studios with Aaron Pack. And, um, so he stayed in the band since that time. We, we had several years of continuing development of writing songs. We've written songs together, uh, uh, but everything we, we formed typically and put on our albums is all original stuff. This current album we just released on um, Valentine's Day, it's uh, entitled uh, Dust Bowl Heart. And most of the tracks on it are Oklahoma themed or, or have like a sense of, we really wanted to bring Oklahoma into this album, which we did in the first, but I think even more so in this album. Let it ring. 